welcome to the knowledge series for Yogakshema. I am joined by Dr. Usha Vastare, the founder of Yogakshema Rehabilitation and Wellness Center. Today's session, we will be covering mindful parenting. I now want to come to a couple of aspects which are not, which are, which are more how to handle symptoms, right? Uh, taking the analogy of a medical problem. Mm. Uh, of course, we want to be healthy. We all want to, you know, uh, do the right things. But for various reasons, diseases happen, and then we have to now start treating symptoms. So there are two large themes in this which I'll cover. The first one is uh, something that is very prevalent in in society and is of particular concern amongst teenagers, both girls and boys, uh, is social media addiction, right? So Instagram or whatever else is the latest uh, <laughs> social media tool, which most of us are probably not even aware of, uh, is a concern. And I'm using the word addiction carefully here because at least some parents have, um, when you talk to them, they, they have started using the word addiction because it has become so dominant uh, in the child's life. So, so in a situation where one parent worries, so I, I don't know whether it's a true addiction or not, but if the parent is anxious about social media addiction of a child, where does the parent go from there? It's a very serious uh, question, Samit. Uh, whichever country that I go to, I get the same questions from parents who are also physicians themselves and they're still facing these problems. That again shows that there is no answer for us as a uh, a medical community we do not have, we are learning as we go along. As a parental community we do not have, but yet we need to face this. So b before I get into the uh, solution, let's go into the symptoms only yeah. and then understand whether this is a habit yeah. or an addiction. Yeah, so that clarity has to be there Very so much. that uh, even as parents, some of the stress is taken away yeah, from Unnecessary this. anxiety is taken exactly. away. Exactly. Um, it definitely has become a habit, we know that. And there's a fine line between habit and addiction. It might go uh, into that line of addiction, but the kids themselves understand this. They are trying to handle this by themselves and they're getting it back. Again, um, the key thing here is to understand um, what is happening with the behavior of the kid. When the kid is uh, asked to join for dinner or asked to go uh, for a party or to um, see the grandparents, some social party, how the kid dresses, whatever it may be, the external situation. What is the behavior of the kid? Is it just resisting? Is it showing uh, um, disapproval? Or is it sad or bored? Or is it angry? Or is the kid aggressive? When it comes to the stage of aggressiveness, could be verbally, not mm -hmm. necessarily physically. Physical mm -hmm. aggression is also there. That is the last, last stage. Even verbally, sometimes even that silence uh, mm. in a certain way which we know which um, uh, will not come back to its normal see after a few minutes then we know we, we, we need to be concerned. So again explaining all of these and maybe a case here or case there what we have heard um, bringing that to the kids notice and then discussing this and making the kid part of the solution. There is no other way in my opinion except to make the kid part of the solution. We know and even the kid knows to a certain extent but refuses to believe. But there are times when it knows, it, it will know, it will, the kid will come downstairs after having spent for two and a half hours and it cannot focus anything and it comes down for something and that is when uh, you need to catch or that is not when you need to catch, depends on the kid and the parent. And that is where we need to be so much more understanding and kind and compassionate and loving and to be able to, to make the kid open up and say that the kid needs help 
and then we can take it. And in a way, so, it's not the kids' fault, right? It, it is a problem of the generation. It is, it is a societal larger. It is. Yes, it's definitely not just the fault of the kid. It is not just a bad habit. It is not something like smoking. Correct. At least there we can see, if, uh, even there we have to be careful, but it is definitely not like smoking. It is because of the bad company this Correct. happened Correct. and then you take this away. No, no, no. Does in that. a way come from this and it, this the is not technology. for just kids. This is happening even with parents. The parents come and tell me about this. How can I come out of this? When the kids go to school, the, especially the mothers or parents, they are left by themselves. And if they do not have something meaningful, something purposeful, something more joyous, they are just spending time. This is a time pass event, becomes a habit, becomes an addiction. And what it means is, much more than the solution, we need to make either an adult or a kid to understand that they will not be able to handle by themselves, that they need some help and may not be just from the parent also. That understanding has to happen both with the parents and with the kids. This is where it, it is a process. It cannot happen one time from the parent. This, the way the steps have to be dealt with, I have not come to the solution yet. The process, the process is very similar to addiction to alcohol. The process is very similar to addiction for smoking. And then, but here the problem is the challenge, both for the parents and for the children and for the medical professional is there at least there was a true reason that the adult would say oh, nobody to understand me or nothing better to do some negative situation that has made them get into that habit here it is not a negative situation it is something that is positive because it is the dopamine center that is getting activated and releasing dopamine, which is supposed to be good to make you feel good mm. and an innocuous thing, yeah, unlike yeah. alcohol. And it's almost ubiquitous, it's available. Absolutely. And if it, it also depends on the contents. If the contents is all about what they want, either for their studies or for something bigger and greater, then we would never have this problem, right? Yeah, yeah. This is what the kid and the parent together has to understand this and together they have to come up with a solution. If they cannot figure this one out, they have to take external help. Making understand, it's not about blaming is what I'm trying yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah. Neither the parents can blame nor the kids take the responsibility, something wrong, why, am, why is this happening? But yet when the kid goes out, everybody is doing feels so, good it's even more of a problem and in some of the context you mentioned auntie this that this is in a way a co-created problem right so the technology world is absolutely and if there are parents who are capable of this and i'm sure there are we need to start thinking at the level of gov governance at the ethical level at the at the level of the uh, companies which are making these things and making people understand because i did have a conversation with the, an ai specialist in uh, us when i brought in these ethical problems of uh, even the ai we have not seen anything yet uh, uh, summit with the chat gpt what we are uh, yeah. facing now and the many more things going to come up we have to make kids as part of the solution and make them understand without bringing the uh, fear factor yeah. in. This is an opportunity for them to be part of the solution, solution. is what the whole thing has to change. Yeah. So if I were to summarize that, auntie, uh, this is uh, a societal problem which is a problem of the current age. All of us are co-creators, all of us can be uh, co-creators of the solution for this problem and it's an ongoing issue that we all need to address and it's it's really important 
the two points you mentioned is ensure that there is no blame, there is no fear, there is no fault finding in this, get the kid involved and uh, wherever help is needed, seek out and um, nudge the child and the parent to seek out help into the larger community.